Kamio Chupu Emeka. In this video session, we shall solve logarithmic equations. Uh, part 1. In this session, we shall solve equations involving logarithms. We shall solve them and we shall check them. Remember what I always advise you whenever you're solving any equation. It is always good to check your solution to make sure that the left hand side of the equation is equal to the right hand side when you substitute for the variable or when you substitute for the solution that you got. So here uh, we have 12 questions uh, involving uh, equations on logarithms and this is part one because in this part we shall deal with the uh, equations that will make us to convert logarithms to exponents and then solve it. So in part 2 we shall solve more challenging uh, problems on logarithmic equations. Uh, in this part, as I just said, we shall apply the relationship between exponents and logarithms in order to solve it. And then when we get an answer, we shall now use the laws of logarithms to check it, to make sure that our left hand side is equivalent to our right hand side. I repeat, in solving it, we shall use the relationship between logarithms and exponents, and then in checking our work, we shall now use the laws of logarithms. So that being said, it is highly recommended that you have viewed the videos on exponents, especially regarding the laws of exponents, you should also have viewed the videos on logarithms. The video on the introduction to logarithms and also the laws of logarithms. It's very important that you have viewed those videos prior to this one. The notes, as usual, the notes will be on my website as well, under the notes tab. Okay, so let's begin with uh, the problems we have here. Question 1, x is equal to log 27 base 3. Now, why is it called logarithmic equations? It is simply an equation that involves logarithms. So, that's why. Um, here we are asked to find x. x is log 27 base 3. So, if we, use, if we use the relationship between uh, log, uh, logarithms and, and exponents, we now see that 3 exponent x will now be 27. So, <coughs> this means that 3 exponent x is equal to 3 cubed, and then x is equal to 3. So, we now have that our x is equal to 3. How do we check this now? If we have to check it, we will write our equation log 27 base 3. We write our left hand side and then our right hand side. So x is 3, uh, the left hand side is 3, and the right hand side is log 27 base 3. So in checking it, we shall use laws of logarithms. And this will now be, if we apply the laws of logarithms, this is 3 cubed base 3. And this will give us 3 log 3 base 3. And that will give us 3 times 1. And that is 3. So 3 on our left hand side, 3 on our right hand side, we can drink some water. Okay? Not soda. Water. Question 2, we see that log 3 base 27 is equal to x. So how are we going to solve this with the relationship between logarithms and exponents? We see that 27 exponent x is equal to 3. Right? And of course, hopefully you have viewed the video on a exponential equations. 
it is also important you view, in fact it is important you view all the videos on exponents, including that of exponential equations. So if you apply that, 27 is 3 cubed times x equal to 3 raised to the power 1. So we see that 3, 3x three is equal to 3 raised to the power 1, or raised to exponent 1. So 3x will give us 1. And if you divide both sides by 3, x is equal to 1 third. x is 1 third. Do we stop here? No. We have to do what? Check our work. So when we check, we write our equation log 3 base 27 equal to x. Then we write our left hand side and our right hand side. Our left hand side is log 3 base 27. Our right hand side is x. So uh, here, our x here we have one third. Okay. How do you solve this with the laws of logarithms? How are you going to solve this with laws of logarithms? Now, you see here that the base is 27. So, log 3 base 27. How are you going to do that? Now, what we can do is we can do change of base. Uh, it is one of the uh, uh, laws of logarithms that I taught in previous video. Uh, let's change everybody to base 3. Uh, it is in base 27 and it's going to be difficult for us to just do it directly. Okay, remember we are doing all this without a calculator. We're not going to use a calculator. So, uh, if we want to use the laws of logarithms to do this, then we have to use the laws of logarithms that deals with change of base. 27 is a large base with the number 3. So, what we can do is let's change everybody to base 3. And if we do that, this will be equal to log 3 base 3 all over log 27 base 3. So log 3, base, log 3 base 3 is 1 all over log 27 base 3. We already found it here to be 3. So we have 1 over 3 on our left, 1 over 3 on our right. We can jump. Alright. Question 3. Log 64 base x equal to 6. So if we are solving this using the relationship between exponents and logarithms, we see that x to exponent 6 is equal to 64. And that means that x to exponent 6 is 2 exponent 6. So the exponents are the same, so you can equate the base. Exponents are the same. Exponents are the same. So equate their base. Equate their base. Now, just you know, just like if the base is, is the same, you equate the exponent. We did that in exponential equations. So if we do that, well, we see that our x is equal to 2 as our answer. Okay, the next thing we have to do is to do what? So, we write the equation log 64 base x is 6. Left hand side is what? Log 64 base x. Right hand side is what? 6. So our x is 2, so this means log 64 base 2. And remember, we are using laws of exponents, I mean laws of logarithms here. So this will be log 2 raised to the power 6 base 2. And that will be equal to log 6 log 2 base 2, which is 6 times 1, which is 6. 6 on your left, 6 on your right. You can drink some coffee because it's cold. Okay, question.
Ephesians 4, we are moving on. Love 125 base x is equal to negative 3. If we saw this, if we solve this as usual, we have x exponent negative 3 is equal to 125. So this means that what? x exponent negative 3 is equal to 5 exponent 3. So there is a problem here, you see this now. There is a problem here. There is a problem here. So what do we have to do? Let's make, because we have to make, let's work on the left because it has the variable. Okay? Now the right we have a 5 cube, but the left we have x exponent negative 3. So this will be from your videos I did previously, this is 1 over x cubed equal to 5 cubed. So you see that? And you can have, from here, you can actually use cross product or you can, you now have a fractional equation. I mean equations involving fractions. So, or fractional equations. So, you, the LCD is x cubed, right? So you can go ahead and multiply everybody by x cubed, it doesn't matter. So this is x cubed times 1 over x cubed equal to x cubed times 5 cubed. So we have that 1 is equal to 5 cubed x cubed. So we have that x cubed 5 cubed or 5, 5 cubed x cubed is equal to 1. x cubed will now be 1 over 5 cubed. If you divide everybody by uh, if you divide everybody by uh, 1, right? If you divide everybody by 5 cubed. Let me explain, let me show you here. When you have 5 cubed, x cubed equal to 1, you divide both sides by 5 cubed, right? So we have 5 cubed divided by 5 cubed, that's done. So x cubed is equal to 1 over 5 cubed. But you know, you still got to have it as an entity. Okay, you still have to have it as an entity for you to find uh, x. So this is x cubed equal to 1 over 5, 1 cubed over 5 cubed, which is 1 over 5 all cubed. So you have x cubed equal to 1 over 5 all cubed, and because the exponents are the same, you can equate the base. x is equal to 1 over 5. Now, if you don't want to do it this way, if you don't want to do it this way, you can do it another way. Let's do it another way. If you don't like the way I just did it. Uh, so, if we do it another way, we can have x to negative 3 is 125. So 1 over x cubed is 125. Uh, 1 is equal to 125 x cubed. So 125 x cubed is equal to 1. You divide both sides by 125. x cubed will be 1 over 125. And then you take the cube root. You take the cube root of both sides. If you take the cube root of both sides, x will be cube root of 1 over 125. And x will be equal to 1 over 5. Because cube root of 1 is 1. Cube root of 125 is 5. So if you want to do it this way, that's fine. If you want to do it this way, that's fine. Okay? Now, the next thing we have to do is to do what? We have to check our work. In checking, we write the main problem, log 125 base x is negative 3. Left hand side is log 125 base x. Right hand side is negative 3. So the variable is on the left hand side. So we now have log 125 base 1 over 5. So how are we going to do this now? We want to, uh, let me write this up. 
How are we going to do this now? We have log 125 base 1 over 5. It's going to be difficult for us to do it directly. So what do we have to do? We put it to be on the same base. And the base we can put it in to be easier for us is base 5. Okay, because here you have 1 over 5. 1 over 5 means 5 exponent negative 1. Then 125 is 5 exponent 3. So we can put it to be the same base, which is base 5, uh, using the laws of logarithm. And if we do that, this means log 125 base 5 over log 1 over 5 base 5. Okay, and we're going to finish it here. We are still checking our work. So from here, you now have log 5 cubed base 5 over log 5 raised to the power negative 1 base 5. Okay, so this will now be 3 log 5 base 5 over negative 1 log 5 base 5 which will give you 3 times 1 over negative 1 times 1, which is 3 over negative 1, which is negative 3. Negative 3 on your left, negative 3 on your right. You can drink some tea without joining the tea party. Okay, uh, the next one is question 5. Question 5 says log 7 base x is equal to 1 over 2. So here we use the relationship between exponents and logarithms. We have x exponent 1 over 2 is equal to 7. Now, you see this now. Here we find that uh, we just have to do, do something with x. And what do we have to do with x? I mean, if you, you ask yourself this, because you want to find x, you ask yourself this, what will you multiply by the exponent so that x will be isolated? I mean, so that it will be x to exponent 1. That's what you ask yourself. Uh, what am I going to multiply by, by half to give me 1? Okay, x, the variable, is what you want to find. You want to isolate the variable. And the variable has exponent 1 over 2. So you ask yourself, what will you multiply by the exponent 1 over 2 to give you 1? So that the variable can be x to exponent 1, which is the x. Okay, the same thing happens with, you know, any exponent of the variable, you are looking for what you will multiply it by to give you that. So, kind of looking for the reciprocal, um, what will you multiply, you know, and you just multiply by the reciprocal of that ex uh, expo exponent. You multiply by the reciprocal of half, which is 2. Okay, so this will now be, you multiply both sides by 2, half times 2. Equal to, and whatever you do to the left hand side, you've got to do to the right hand side. Okay? Whatever you do to the left hand side, you have to do to the right hand side. You have to do that. Okay? And if you want to put this 7 in parentheses, that's up to you. It does not matter. So this is x. Half times 2 is 1. And that is 7 squared. So your x is equal to 49. Your x becomes 49 because 7 squared is 7 times 7, which is 49. Do you stop here? No. You do what? You check your work. It is important. You check your work. You use the laws of logarithm to check your work. So in checking, we have the equation log 7 exponent x. Log 7 base x is equal to 1 over 2. We have our left hand side. Now, right hand side. Left hand side is log 7 is x. Right hand side is 1 over 2. Now our x is 49. 
So this means log 7 base 49. If you look at this now, you ask yourself, what are you going to, you know, like what we did, uh, with the, we've done similar problems here in this video. Uh, you want to now express both of them in base 7. Because 7 is kind of a multiple of 7 and also a multiple of 49. So this will be, this will be equal to log 7 base 7 all over log 49 base 7. Right? And that will be equal to log 7 base 7 is 1 all over log 7 squared base 7. Because 49 is 7 squared. Okay, so this will be 1 over 2 log 7 base 7. And that will be equal to 1 over 2 times 1. And that will be equal to 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 on your left, 1 over 2 on your right. Uh, you can uh, drink some Kool Aid and uh, form a Kool Aid party. <laughs> okay, so the next question is what? The next question is what? Next question is what? Question 6. I'm trying to do several varieties so that you can understand it. So, all the questions I do here are kind of different. So, you, by the time I do those, you would understand it. Now, please, pause the video. Okay? Pause it. Pause it now, and when I write the next problem, do it. You do it, and after doing it, you check your work to make sure that your left hand side is equal to your right hand side, and then you can play it back. Okay? So this is log 1 over 25 base x equal to negative 2. So we have that x exponent negative 2 is equal to 1 over 25. Now, this will be x exponent negative 2 equal to 25 exponent negative 1. Yeah, just leave it like that, negative 1. Okay, here is like what we just did here. Okay, you can actually do this two ways. We're going to do this problem two ways. So you can do this as x exponent negative 2 equal to 5 squared of negative 1. So this will be x exponent negative 2 equal to 5. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So you can see now the exponents are the same. You can equate the base. x equal to 5. Now, say you don't like it this way. Right? Say so you don't like it this way. Second method. Second method to do it. You can, when you come over here, x exponent negative 2 equal to 25 exponent negative 1. Let's say it did not come to you that 25 is 5 squared. Right? So all you need to do, just like we did here, right? You just did x exponent negative 2 times. What is the reciprocal of negative 2? It's negative 1 half. Negative half. Okay? And whatever you do to the left, you do to the right. 25, 25 exponent negative 1 times negative 1 half. Yes. So here, negative 2 times negative 1 half is just x. So x will be equal to 25 Negative 1 times negative 1 half is half. So here you can still do it two ways. You can either say that x is square root of 25. Or you can simply say that x is 5 squared half. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. So x is 5 to the power 1. And x is 5. So whichever way you want to do it. You will still get what? The same also. Okay, now the next thing we have to do is to do what? Check our work. 
We write check every time. Write check. Because you want to make the instructor to kind of know what you're doing and so that when he's grading, he or she is grading your paper, it will be easier for him or her to, you know, to follow through. So it's good to write check. Uh, then you write the main problem. The main question is log 1 over 25 base x equal to negative 2. Then you write it left hand side, right hand side. Left hand side is log 1 over 25 is x. Right hand side is negative 2. So here, of course, this will be log 1 over 25 base 5, since our x is 5. This is now log 25 negative 1 base 5, right? So this is log 5 squared negative 1 base 5, and that is what? Log 5, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 base 5, and that is negative 2 log 5 base 5, which is negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2. You have negative 2 on your left, negative 2 on your right. Okay, you do some dancing. Okay, question 7 is the next one. Question 7, we have log x base 5 equal to 3. So this is pretty straightforward. I mean, if we use the relationship between uh, exponents and logarithms, we have that 5 raised to power 3 is x. So x is 5 cubed and x is 125. 5 times 5 times 5, 125. Okay? What do we do next? We check our work using what? The laws of logarithm. So we write check. We write the equation log x base 5 is 3. Left hand side, right hand side. So the left hand side is log x base 5. Right hand side is 3. And we got our x as what? 125. So this is log 125 base 5, and that is what? Log 5 cubed base 5, which is what? 3 log 5 base 5, which is 3 times 1, which is 3. 3 on your left, 3 on your right. You can eat some vegetables, you know. You eat some vegetables to, be, to have vitamins. Plant nutrients, you know. Question 8. We have that log x base 27 is equal to 4 over 3. Okay? Doing some varieties, you know. So here will be what? 27 exponent 4 over 3 is equal to x. Now, there are two ways you can do this. There are two ways you can do this. X will be equal to 27 exponent 4 over 3. You can, uh, you can, you know, one of the laws of exponents I taught is fractional exponents. One of the laws of exponents I taught is fractional exponents. So what you can do is you can go ahead with that laws of exponents. You can this becomes cube root of 27 raised to the power 4. Okay? Now, or some people might also have it this way. X is equal to cube root of 27 4. I mean, they kind of first of all do 27 uh, times 27 times 27 times 27. And then they find the cube root. Now, use whichever way is simpler for you. Use whichever way is simpler for you. Remember, you are not working with a calculator. And sometimes, this way is simpler. 
Because sometimes when you have to raise it to the exponent and find a cube root, you might just get uh, an integer. Sometimes this way is easier. So whichever way that is easier for you, you use. Now, if you ask me which way is easier now to do this, is this problem? Because you can easily find a cube root of 27. Now, but what if you couldn't find a cube root of 27? Or, the, or that the cube root of 27 will give you a decimal? Then you probably want to try this way. Okay, now, uh, if, let's, finish, let's finish this question. So, if we use this, we see that x will be, cube root of 27 is what? 3. So, 3 exponent 4. 3 times 3, 9, times 3, 27, times 3, 81. x is 81. Okay, say you don't like this. Okay. Say you don't like this method. So you want another method, right? Now, you see, I've got to teach you different ways to do math, and you choose which way you like, so that you don't, so that you're not scared of math. No, you should not be scared of math. So, what I'm about should be scared of you. Now, uh, we can from here x to be 27, 4 over 3. We can also say this that x is 3 q. 4 over 3 times 4 over 3. Okay, and then 3 can divide 3, so we have that x is 3 raised to the power 4, and x will be 81. So whichever way suits, whichever way suits you is okay. Right? Uh, then what do we do next? We do what next? We check our wall. Check our wall. Check. So you write the main what? Write the main equation log x plus 27 equal to 4 over 3. Write your left hand side and your right hand side. Uh, left hand side is what? Log x plus 27. Right hand side is 4 over 3. And we want to use the laws of logarithms to check this. Okay, so our x is what? 81. So this will be log. 81 base 27. Okay, you see this now. 27 squared is not going to give you 81. See? So, how are you going to solve this log with laws of logarithms? You put it to be on the same base. Right? You change the base to something that is a multiple of 81 and also a multiple of 27. And you want to use this small, you know, small number as the base, and what can you think of is 3. Use 3. So if we change this to base 3, this will give us log 81 base 3 all over log 27 base 3. Right? So this will give us what? Log 3 raised to power 4 base 3 all over log 3 raised to power 3 base 3. 3 fourths base 3, go back, 3 cubed base 3. And from here, from here, we now have that this is equal to 4 log 3 base 3, all over 3 log 3 base 3. Log 3 base 3 can cancel, yes. I mean, you could say 4 times 1 over 3 times 1, and it will be 4 over 3. Or, you could still do this, because this is 4 times. This means 4 times log 3 base 3 over 3 times log 3 base 3. You could still cancel like this, and this is 4 over 3. So we have 4 over 3 on our left, and then 4 over 3 on our right. And then you can thank your teachers. Okay, the next one is question 9. Next one is question 9. You have log x base 16 equal to negative 3 over 2. So, using the relationship between exponents and logarithms, we see that 16 exponent negative 3 over 2 is equal to x. So, our x is equal to 16 exponent negative 3 over 2. So, I will, you know, there are so many methods you can use. 
I will just go ahead and use one method, okay? So we can get this going, going, going. So x will be equal to square root of 16, all negative 3. So x will be equal to square root of 16 is 4, so exponent negative 3, which is 1 over 4 cubed, which is 1 over 64. So x is equal to 1 over 64. Now, how do we check this? We write our check. The main problem, log x plus 16 equal to negative 3 over 2. Then our left hand side, our right hand side. As I mentioned earlier, you could still solve this another way. You could still solve it like this. You could. So, left hand side will be equal to log x plus 16. Right hand side is negative 3 over 2. Um, and then, this will be equal to log 1 over 64 base 16. Now you see that 16, 16 squared is 256. It's not going to give you 64. So we have to express this in base of 4. Base of 4. So this is what? Log 1 over 64 base 4 over log 16 base 4. Yeah. You see, it's very important that change of base of log reading. Laws of log So this is now log uh, 64 to the power negative 1 base 4 all over log 4 squared base 4. Okay? So we continue here. Bring this up here. This will be equal to log. Now 64 is uh, 4 times 4, 16 times 4, 16. Uh, 4 cubed, all raised to the power negative 1 base 4, all over 2 log 4 base 4. So that will be equal to log 4 raised to the power negative 3 base 4, all over 2 times 1. You can use, you can still do it 2 times 1. This is negative 3 log 4 base 4 over 2, which is negative 3 times 1 over 2 which is negative 3 over 2. Okay, negative 3 over 2 on your left, negative 3 over 2 on your right. You can drink, you can eat, eat some fruits, okay? You eat some fruits. You know, uh, Mr. C is a mat, mat, matricianist. I'm a mat and nutritionist, so I'm a matricianist, matricianist. As you solve and check your problems, it is right, you take some nutrition, you know, to cut down on the, all this caloric food, you know, that make my stomach to be big, you know, all these hamburgers and cheeseburgers and the rest of it. Okay, uh, the next question, please. I've kind of put some humor in mathematics to make it interesting. Okay. Uh, question 10 and then we have two more to go after question 10 question 10 says log 1 over 10 base x is 1 so I mean this is pretty straightforward right so this is x raised to the power 1 is 1 over 10 so x is 1 over 10 can you imagine that <laughs> See? Okay, uh, then what do you do next? You just check it? Check. The check is pretty simple too. Check is log 1 over 10 this x is equal to 1. Left hand side, right hand side. Left hand side is log 1 over 10 this x and right hand side is 1. But our x is 1 over 10 so this will be log 1 over 10 is 1 over 10. Of course, this is 1. By definition of lo laws of logarithm, log x is x is 1. Log Mr. C is Mr. C is 1. Log, uh, log 5 is 5 is 1. So, 1, 1. Okay? And you can uh, 
eat some olives, you know. Olives. Okay, question 11. Question 11. This is law. Square root of 216, let's bring some radicals here, okay? Although this is pretty simple anyway. Equal to x. Come on, come on, come on. So this is 6x prime x is square root of 216. Okay? Now can you find the square root of 216? Can you? I probably not give you an integer, right? Because, because if it was cube root, then it would be 6. But square root is not going to be 6. Okay, square root, gonna, square root will give you a decimal. So what do you want to do now? This is 6 exponent x. Is, now you know that this is 2, 16, exponent 1 over 2. We did, we, we did this, lots of, uh, lots of uh, exponents. Yeah, lots of exponents. Do that video. So this is 6 exponent x equal to 6 cubed times 1 over 2. Right? So 6 exponent x is equal to 6 exponent 3 over 2. They have the same base, so you can equate the exponent. Right? So x is equal to what? 3 over 2. x is equal to 3 over 2. Can we check this? Of course, we can check it. Of course. Do we check it? Yes, check it. Yes, check it. So the check, we have log square root of 216 base 6 is x. Left hand side is log square root of 216 base 6. Right hand side is x. Okay. Uh, so if you look at this now, we've got to do some more work here. We've got to do some more work here, okay? So this is a log. Can we call this? Now, square root of 216, this is 216 exponent 1 half, then base 6, and x is 3 over 2. Okay, so we have to do more work here. So this will be log, log 6 cubed times 1 half, base 6, right? And that will be log 6, 3 over 2, because 3 times 1 half is 3 over 2. 6 exponent 3 over 2 base 6 and that will give you 3 over 2 log 6 base 6 and that is 3 over 2 times 1 which is now 3 over 2 3 over 2 on your left, 3 over 2 on your right you can exercise, you know exercise yeah. exercise to keep fit ok uh, the last but not the least Last but not the least, question 12, log 2x plus 4 base 4 equal to 3, okay, log 2x plus 4, parenthesis, then base 4 equal to 3, so this means that 4 cubed is equal to 2x plus 4. And 4 cubed is what? 64 equal to 2x plus 4. 2x plus 4 equal to 64. 2x will be equal to 64 minus 4. Uh, 2x is equal to 60. Then x is equal to 30. x is 30. Alright, let's check this stuff and see whether we got it right. Okay? Uh, So we have a check of 12, check, um, log, parenthesis 2x plus 4, base 4, equal to 3, um, then we have our left hand side and our right hand side, our left hand side is log, parenthesis 2x plus 4, is 4, and our right hand side is 3, and then we now have that uh, our x is what, 30, so this is log uh, 2 times 30, 
plus 4 is 4. So this is log 60 plus 4 is 4. And that is log 64 is 4. And that is log 4 cube is 4. And that is 3 log 4 is 4. And that is 3 times 1. And that is 3. 3 on your left, 3 on your right. Uh, you can, uh, you know, you can uh, you At least we have come to the end of it.